Today, I'll be talking about the top five best aggressive assault rifles in COD Mobile Season 13. During the release of this current season, Legendary Ranked experienced an overhaul on what weapon metas were actually going to be viable. And because of that, I took it in my best interest to research and give you guys what is, in my professional opinion, the top five best aggressive assault rifles in COD Mobile as of right now. I think some of my choices will actually surprise you, so please make sure to watch the entire video. Only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you end up enjoying this video, consider subscribing and you can always change your mind. Starting off straight away with number five is the HBR A3. This assault rifle is more of an aggressive AR when it comes to the scale of passive to aggressive playstyle. This AR is more tailored to people who absolutely love the power of medium range gunfights. That its sole purpose and its overall composition. And I will say when you do build this AR, try to tailor accuracy with fast ADS speed. If you want to know what map specifically this AR dominates on, it would be standoff, rust, nuketown, summit, and raid. Trust me you won't be at all disappointed with this AR. Here is actually going to be the gunsmith build for the HBR and for any aggressive HBR user, you will find this build to be absolutely phenomenal for you. We do have the OWC marksman barrel, the no stock, the OWC laser tactical, the fast extended magazine, and the stipple grip tape. One note I want to make on this specific gunsmith build is that this prioritizes fast ADS, good mobility, and great accuracy, which is what you want because this AR, like I said, Said before is very very stressed towards taking short to medium range gunfights all right so moving on to the number four spot we do have the lk24 i know a lot of you must be saying evader what the heck the lk24 who would put this here on this list but let me tell you this weapon has been my favorite assault rifle since season 10 okay in cod mobile this is literally my go-to ar when i really want to turn up a notch and destroy players who are using guns like the dr genism 10 and i can tell you guys for a fact this this gun can absolutely compete with the DRH and ASM-10. This gun, for some reason, is just so good in so many areas. Range, damage, accuracy, mobility, fire rate. It's just so good. I mean, you can literally turn this gun into an SMG and the silenced SMG, short range AR, mid range AR, uh, long range AR specifically. And I absolutely love this AR. It is by far, one, it has literally the highest natural mobilities in the game when it comes to AR. It's so versatile in all the departments when going against your opponent. The perfect combination of passive to aggressive play star. This, this AR starts off a little bit slow when you are playing with it. You know, you kind of want to post up a little bit, but once you get the feeling of the gun and you're just, you're just able to go around, slide constantly on the map and just, oof, man, it is crazy. This gun is absolutely insane. Um, and you do happen to see a lot of content creators who are now recognizing like, yes, this is a challenging weapon. This is could be a runner up for the number fourth spot. Can tell you this gun can absolutely compete on that weapon. And I think as the season continues, this AR will actually make headlines and be much more usable on maps that normally would not be tailored for this weapon. So we do have the marksman barrel, the classic red dot sight, you know, obviously this gun doesn't really have the best iron sights to use in the game. Unfortunately, I did wish it did have it because then it would save an attachment slot, but it does not. This is what I prefer. Obviously, no stock, OWC laser tactical, and granulated grip tape. This is a heavy accuracy mobility build. It is absolutely phenomenal. So coming in hot at number three is the one and only Peacekeeper MK2. This gun does not need an introduction. It was literally released during this season of COD Mobile Season 13 and has become a powerhouse and leader when it becomes an ultimate uh, AR slash SMG hybrid weapon in the game. Like I said, this gun is very, very volatile in terms, uh, in terms of its control, but it has the capability of being this hybrid SMG when you need it in that certain scenarios of where you're playing really close combats, right? So it's such a versatile AR, but I would limit the usage of the range, okay, to 25 meters plus, because like I said, the recoil control kind of gets a little bit funky during that point in time when you are using it. But like I said, if you're a player who is really skilled, and I would consider this weapon to be a very very high skill weapon to use because of how sort of lacking the control is and if you are able to do that this ar will reward you heavily you know um like i said before beyond that ability is great you can do tons of movement regardless if you make the build a lot heavy and you want to put like a longer range barrel on the gun the gun will still move in your hands so fast and you will not even feel like you're holding an lmg so moving on the control is great you can buff the fire rate and that's actually the specialties about this weapon you can actually buff the fire rate and buff 
the damage this AR will literally four shot faster than any mid range AR in the game. So let's get on into the gunsmith build portion of, you know, this ranking. We do have the rapid fire barrel. We have the aim assist laser, the field agent foregrip, the double stack magazine and the firm grip tape. I'm more of an SMG type of player style. Like I like to be extremely aggressive and I like to take those uh, really hard guns. I want to be that playmaker. I want to be that risk taker. And this build allows me to do it. And that's why I put it number three on my list. So moving on to ranking number two, this gun obviously, you know, is really popular, very well used, actually overly used uh, for the past four seasons of COD Mobile. And it is none other than the DRH. Obviously this weapon literally is a killer in the game. You know, for the past four seasons, this, this AR never has been once nerfed, but however only buff become literally one of the stepping stones of ranked. Like if you don't have a loadout with the DRH, what are you doing, right? Like it's like one of those things where you need this gun. The new 30 round, you know, OTM magazine that was introduced, which increases the, I think it was the limb damage for this specific weapon. That is huge. You are literally going to four shot even more quicker than you normally would with the 25 OTM mag. And keep in mind that this weapon, three shots, like I said, from the chest and higher. And I think all of us can agree when I say this, the DRH can be a little bit weird on the damage output, but nonetheless, it's a force to be reckoned with, which is why this weapon is number two, because throughout most of its life cycle, okay, it has been the most thorough and stable AR and the most reliable AR to use within this current season of season 13. We just have to see, you know, with the next season, maybe season 14, will the DRH get a nerf or will the DRH get a buff, you know, potentially. So let's go ahead and transition into the gunsmith portion of the build. As you can see here, this is my gunsmith build. We do have the OWC Ranger barrel. Highly recommend this over the marksman barrel just because it gives you more accuracy. That's what we want. No stock to give it more mobility. Granulated grip tape, you know. 30 round OTM mag, cannot stress this enough. Don't use 25 OTM mag. This has very minimal recoil at all, if any. Um, and not even that, there's no horizontal recoil control on this gun. So use this build. This build is great even for you if you wanna play passive. Like if you wanna be a little bit mobile and you wanna do extremely good damage onto your enemies, this build is the one. Don't like, don't second guess yourself. Don't try to do random stuff with builds that don't work and that will only get you hit markers and they won't register. This build will do the job and I highly recommend it. Cause I, like I said, I would never recommend a build to any one of my viewers who are watching this video thinking, wow, this build is probably going to underperform. This is not a build that's going to underperform. So definitely, definitely follow up. And last but not least, coming in at the reigning number one spot is the ASM-10. The ASM-10 literally is the best, or I would say the best uh, assault rifle currently in the game. I think to label it as the best assault rifle in the game is very well, uh, it's very well, I think it would be very well used. And this gun, you know, coming in at the number one spot, is you know it doesn't need an introduction right the gun three shots at every range basically it has the best range it has some of the best accuracy in the game you can literally get it to 100 percent accuracy if you really wanted to however i will say that the mobility the mobility and the ads time is what really makes this gun not as i guess you could say a much more fast-paced gun i mean this gun literally kills extremely quick which is why it's actually so fast-paced because if it didn't kill as quick as it did uh it would not be considered a fast-paced weapon at all so like, like I said, you know, during, during this time of rank, I mean, this has been probably the most, I would consider this a 99% used, uh, weapon in the game. Uh, it's, it's literally unstoppable in my personal opinion. It did actually receive a, uh, n ammo nerf, which did, I mean, I guess you could say kind of help, you know, with the usage because people were abusing the crap out of it. But like I said, you definitely need to have this gun in your ranked loadouts. Like when, you know, whenever you pull out this weapon, it does do like, it does insane, insane amount of damage. Oh my God. The accuracy and the range. I mean, it's all there. The fire rate is um, kind of on the lower end, I would say, but overall it does make for a great composition and you will benefit highly with this gun. And let's go ahead and actually transition gunsmith portion of the build and so here we have is the marksman barrel first of all we have the no stock right because we want to make it a little bit more mobile granulated grip tape and i actually have an extended magazine and an extended magazine will definitely be handy with this weapon 25 bullets at this point for the nerf is not enough that is ex extremely bad that's kind of pushing it i mean I, they would be pushing it if it was at 20 because like honestly in my personal opinion since this this is an all-around three shotgun i'd expected a much more bigger nerf than this but after the nerf it does seem more 
plausible to put on an extended magazine. And then lastly, we do have the OWC Laser Tactical. Uh, like I said, this overall gunsmith build works great. It's phenomenal. You have the mobility. The mobility is there. The control is there. The range is there. The accuracy and the damage are all there for you. Like I said, definitely get a class. Get a couple games in with this gun. You will not be dissatisfied at all. I Like I said, this gun is absolutely amazing. And there's a reason why it's number one, right? Because like I said, it's the only three shot consistent they are at no matter what range is in the game. And uh, this thing literally will, will, you know, tear away at your opponent. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comment section down below which gun you enjoyed learning about the most. Stay tuned for the top five best SMGs in COD Mobile Season 13 and many more exciting videos to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay in the trap, get racks every day. She fuck with me now, I told her to lay. My hook in the water, she liking my bae. Ain't saving a hoe, I don't wear a cave. You beef with me, don't think you ever save. I hop in the four and it dry like a race. We sipping the Henny, I don't need a chase. We dodging the feds, ain't catching no case. I stay in the trap, get racks every day. She fuck with me now, I told her to lay. My hook in the water, she liking my bae.